New at 10, Governor Kevin Stitt's reaction to a federal ruling on Indian gaming in Oklahoma. We'll also hear from tribal leaders on what it all means for casinos across the Sooner State. That is where we begin this Tuesday night at 10. I'm Lisanne Anderson. Evening, everybody. I'm Bob Rakeen. The battle between the state of Oklahoma and Native American tribes over, yeah, at least for now. Yeah, a federal judge handed down his decision on that gaming lawsuit between the two sides this morning. After a year of dispute, it is a win for Oklahoma Indian tribes. K-10's Bailey Bates, you've been following this since the very beginning. You spoke with some tribal leaders on what this means going forward. Tribal leaders say they are humbled by the win and are glad to be putting it behind them. However, they say the ruling doesn't change much for them because it is what they've practiced and preached since the start. Dice rolling, slots ringing, the sound of winning. I'm trying to control my excitement, but I'm so excited for the ruling. It's been a year in the making, but today Oklahoma's Native American Indian tribes got the answer they've been fighting for. A federal judge siding with the tribes saying the compacts do auto renew for another 15 years. It's great to have that behind us. It's sad that we've had to go through all of this rhetoric to get to where we are today to confirm that's been our stance all along. A sweet victory to the tribes who sued Governor Kevin Stitt to renew them. Governor Stitt argued the compacts expired January 1st and all gaming was illegal after that. The tribes continued to pay their exclusivity fees since the start and operated as normal. I think tribes have shown they were great partners and they'll continue to be great partners. Governor Stitt released a statement in response to the decision. He said in part, I am deeply disappointed by the federal court's ruling. It confirms my fears and the fears of many fellow Oklahomans that the state entered into a poorly negotiated deal and now we must bear the cost of this mistake. This decision is another legal defeat for Stitt, who just lost last week at the Oklahoma Supreme Court in another tribal gaming matter. Tribal leaders say it's a fight that shouldn't be considered. What, what needs to be worked on, though, is that you have the chief executive of the state of Oklahoma, Governor Stitt, and his relationship with tribal leaders of, you know, of sovereign tribal governments. Um, that relationship, in my opinion, needs to be fixed. It's what many call an, an important partnership for Oklahoma, but it started on a rough path. Because we feel like that we've been put into question and now it's been proven that, we're, that we were right. Chief Batten says they are more than willing to sit at the table and talk changes but only if it is for the betterment of all. If it's just to raise the fees, we're, we're not in discussion for that. That's the reason why this ruling w was put in place. That's the reason why the compact was worded the way it is today. Of course, an appeal could be filed after this ruling. We'll be monitoring this lawsuit as it continues. Live in studio, Bailey Bates, K10 News.